Hi, I'm Gabriele Calabrese and we are in Piazza San Michele in the heart of uh, Lucca town. Behind me you can see the beautiful church of San Michele, uh, the basilica that is one of uh, the most uh, important examples of uh, the medieval architectures in Lucca. Well, this square around me was the heart of the town even for the commerce along the centuries. And Lucca was the final destination of, of a very important road, the Silk Road. And uh, here we had the market. That church showed the evidence of this uh, period of glory that Luca had at that time. You can see behind me, we have marble. Everything is shining because it's marble that is coming from uh, the marble quarries uh, that we have on the Hapuan Alps, just behind here. But thanks to this marble that is uh, calcar, we have the evidence of the silk uh, trade. This church still preserve after eight centuries uh, graffitis that the merchants uh, they left to show the several uh, uh, trades and passages uh, that they had to do to bring the silk to look the uh, sack of silk to look and it's amazing because uh, here it's possible to see an harbor a town with all the walls, the domes, uh, and even the calligraphy of the merchants that in 13, 13, 30, with the Gothic calligraphy, they sign their names on the wall. At this moment, I am in a little fortress, like a little square, that is called the Piazza dei Mercanti, or Loggia dei Mercanti, because we had a loggia originally here. And uh, merchants in silk. This was the place in which we had marketing place, which is the evidence that this was the place. This old door, where you can see this relief, with a, a kind of salami, looks like that, but it's not a salami, it's not a sausage, it's a sack of rosil that was coming from the old. Well, this symbol is still present in the paper, in the official seal, of the Chamber of Commerce in Lucca. In Lucca, we still have the tradition of the silk. Uh, it's still going on because uh, we have uh, artists. I call them artists, like Jenny, uh, in this shop. Uh, they're still, in 2019, able to weave the silk in a modern way. So we go inside and I will show you. What you can see behind me, around here, comes from uh, the uh, fantasy, the quality uh, of our weavers, uh, young girls, uh, that they took like an heritage, they know how from their grandmother, grandfathers, uh, and so on, generations after generations. But nowadays, these Italian girls are able to produce uh, with fantasy and modern uh, design. And you can see even the lamps, they're so uh, beautiful. So, Luca is not stuck in the past. Thanks to this handcraft, we can think and to see to the future uh, with a smile. Weaving the silk eh, long the centuries brought to the Italian language, in this case uh, to the local uh, uh, language of Lucca, Lucchese, a way to say that it's alliccia, alliciare, that it means be quick. Eh? Why? Because this lady, Jenny, is doing one of the most difficult things. She has to uh, insert uh, all the threads, in this case she said just uh, 380, 360 uh, little threads of silk inside a kind of uh, 
How can we call it, Jenny? This uh, it's comb. like a, it's like a comb, huh? like the, comb. the comb that we use for the hairs. I don't have any hairs, but she knows. And uh, uh, this is something that she has to be very punctual because uh, she had to follow like uh, uh, the music uh, a specific uh, sequence to have finally a perfect work uh, with the best design that she has in her mind and sometimes she has to write like the music on the stuff, on the stave. Huh? Okay, now I'm here with Jenny and I would like to ask her um, when she started this uh, wonderful job, this tradition. I started um, about uh, 12, 13 years uh, ago, but just for fun, I, I, I didn't I didn't know that uh, it would be my job um, For the future. because I mm, I'm a musician okay. and I spent all my life playing the harp and I found uh, the loom very similar to the harp and uh, slowly slowly I fall in love with the loom and I found really many many connections connection with the music. You have to know that. Uh, listen, Jenny, she's one of the best artists in Europe, not just in Lucca. And I suppose that I am sure that the next time we will come to record uh, Hermin when she's playing the harp, because she's just uh, wonderful. But uh, yes, 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 it's true. And, uh, and instead, um, which kind of uh, silk and which kind of production you're doing? Just with the silk or with other? No, no, not only silk. For example, for example, this wall is a wall, is Merino's wall, because uh, I I like to use um, many different kind of yarns, especially natural yarns. I like very much natural yarn, like alpaca in all in all uh, the natural colors. I, I like very much silk, but I like also mixed silk because uh, I like very much um, to. How do you say experimental? Uh, so make an experiment. An experiment uh, with uh, with yarns. Mixing uh, the, the yes, fibers. Yes, so. for example, silk. I put silk in many, many different ways. Mix with the uh, wool, with hemp, uh, with everything, with cotton. Uh, but I know that she um, prefer also to use uh, uh, natural colors uh, yeah. with, and sometimes also natural fibers. So yeah. that's very important for the sustainable you know, yes. uh, quality yeah. of uh, these products, I, yeah. I, I think. So thank you very much, Jenny. Uh, no so way. the next time with heart. Promise, okay. promise. Okay. <laughs> We are in Via Filungo now. It's very busy, it's like the red thread that connects all the town. And if you follow me, uh, you can see this shop that still produce uh, a wonderful uh, silk uh, in Lucca. Uh, it's uh, a kind of production that uh, produces silk with the original looms, uh, with traditional looms, but also with machineries. And here we have uh, our friend, uh, that uh, uh, she can explain, uh, for example, a typical uh, scarf that they, is like the light motif. Uh, yes, of uh, course. Uh, and what is shop? A, this is a typical scarf that the 17th century, that Kermotier, with the Lucca, when we finish to make the wall. And we, you can see also this one. That is the bigger one in the cashmere, model cashmere. That is our best seller with the logo on top. And you can see Luca uh, in French. Luca, Luca. And then this beautiful lady uh, okay. that represents Luca in this case. So thank you very much. So, hi, friends. Today we stroll around the streets of Lucca, uh, discovering the tradition of the silk, uh, the weavers, uh, uh, the products. Uh, but next time, we will discover something else because this town always uh, shows us, uh, how can I tell you, 
the story uh, of the town, the flavor of the town, many little details. So follow us and uh, stick together to us.